And welcome back this morning. We are talking apps and joining us from the Verizon Wireless store in Middleton is Adam Jonathan. Good morning, Adam. Hello. So tell me about the first one. We have one that's going to be competing sort of with the whole music space and possibly Pandora. It's called Songza. Yeah, so Songza, you know, we're used to having Pandora where we log in and be able to listen to radio stations, put in artists, things like that. We're kind of accustomed to that. You probably see that in cars now. There's a lot of integration with that. Songs is really cool, though, because it's a little bit different. It'll actually do music based on moods or events, so it's not like you're just tuning into a particular station. In addition, I really like it because it's good for discovering new music. It's really good if you're looking for underground artists or you want to hear some sort of newer stuff that may not be mainstream yet. That's something that you would get from Pandora. That's that's not something that Songza um, is going to do. It's going to give you those more grassroots kind of interesting music. So go into that again, because when you say moods, how does it pick up what music goes well with everything? Yeah, so basically you can set the mood, and then obviously if you're setting like an excited mood, it would give you a different uh, playlist than if you were, you know, maybe you wanted like a quiet, relaxing <laughs> kind of day after work or something, you know, you could you could set it a little differently. And what platforms is that available for? Um, it's available for both Android and iPhone. Okay, so the second one we have is Map My Ride. Yeah, so Map My Ride, we're used to seeing GPS um, in terms of like cars, you know, being able to do, um, you know, mapping routes and, you know, putting it on your dash and stuff like that, like Google Maps. This is a little different because it's for bicycling. So this is going to be, um, it's super easy to use. You just turn on the app, you hit the go button, and then it'll start tracking everything you do. So it'll keep track of how far you're riding. It'll keep track of the elevation that you're traveling, what your route pattern is like, um, and then it'll give you all that ride data when you're done. So it's, it's kind of fun if you do a lot of cycling, especially for this time of year, you're getting outdoors, you know, you're able to use it a lot. And the last one we have is what? Last one we have is called My Pregnancy Today. Um, it's really good if you're going to be a new parent um, and you're trying to keep track of all the things that occur when you're expecting. So um, there's a lot of appointments. There's a lot of things like that that you have to keep track of. Um, in addition to that, it'll let you keep track of, you know, what you're eating, things like that. But it's kind of like a pocket guide to your pregnancy. It'll tell you what to expect and what's happening during those weeks. So for all of these apps, are they free? Are there yep. prices involved? They're all going to be free this time, um, and they're for Android and Apple. Okay. And that goes for all of them? Yep. Android and Apple. Android and Apple. Mm -hmm. All right. Adam, Jonathan, thanks again for joining us. Thank and you. all the information, it could be found on our homepage under news links. And if you'd like to see Adam, Jonathan, he is at the Verizon Wireless store in Middleton. We'll be right back.